Today's incident taking place in an already tense security environment in D.C. following the January 6th Capitol attacks. Local force Larry Spruill had a chance to speak with one of our local members of Congress and joins us live now with their reaction. Larry. Kimberly and Devin, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence says what happened at the U.S. Capitol today is simply heartbreaking. Another attack at the U.S. Capitol involving police and now police officer William Bill Evans is dead because of it. Take a listen. Oh, my God, not again. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence says it was like deja vu when she saw the news on her phone Friday afternoon. So I'm getting, da, 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 my phone's just buzzing, and I look, and then I turned on the TV, and I saw the officers being pinned by someone trying to ram onto the campus. Lawrence is back in Michigan for the holiday weekend, but the news of one U.S. Capitol police officer dead and another one injured after a suspect with a knife rammed a vehicle into a police barricade outside the Capitol Friday afternoon reminded her of January 6th. That knot in my stomach from when I was on the floor during the insurrection. Police are trying to put together the pieces of what happened, leaving more questions than answers. I don't know all the information. I don't know if this was a terrorist attack. I don't know if this was a a uh, another attempt at an insurgents. I don't know, but just the fact that someone tried to breach the Capitol grounds in such a violent way. Lawrence says there were discussions about removing the barriers in front of the Capitol, but now she's not sure about that. To see those barriers, a lot of people are saying bring them down, but I'm concerned now as we navigate through how to keep the Capitol safe, is it the right thing to do to take them down? And after what happened today, I don't think we're ready yet. And Lauren says that they have a close relationship with Capitol Police officers. Every time she walks in there, they would greet her, ask her, does she need anything? She says this is a tough time for everyone at Capitol Hill. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Absolutely is. Okay, Larry, thank you.